Hey everyone, Joe here. In today's video, I want to show you how to get started editing your first video in DaVinci Resolve. And I'm also going to help you understand your timeline settings. Now this is going to be a five part video series starting off with you know, starting your first project and timeline settings, like I just mentioned. Then we'll go on to the uh, other videos. We could be editing your timeline, understand the basics of editing, along with audio editing essentials in Fairlight, as well as understanding titles and color adjustments. And finally, the fifth uh, video is going to end up, you know, exporting your project and understanding all the export settings. So if you're interested in those type of videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell icon so you get notified when they are released. So anyway, let's hop over here to the desktop and get started. Okay, I already have DaVinci Resolve 17 opened up on the desktop. Now this is the studio version, but the uh, free version is the same. Okay. Now there's gonna be a few things here. You probably notice there's one that says untitled project and you'll probably wanna click that or you probably wanna click new project and that's totally up to you. However, I like to keep my stuff organized. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a uh, folder. I'm gonna name this tutorials. And go ahead and hit enter and create that new folder. Now I wanna double click on that folder, then click new project and just type in do to resolve 17 tutorials. And that will help actually start creating your first project. Now, once you get that opened up, it's probably going to either start over within the edit panel or the media. We don't want to worry about that right now. But we do want to click on edit. Then we want to go down to this little gear icon down here in the bottom of the screen. Now, you're probably wondering, how do you change your video settings and everything? Well, this is how. Click on the gear icon. Then we have all these other settings and stuff right here. You want to pay attention to master settings. Now, depending on what type of project you're working on, you may want a 1080p project, or you may want a 4K project or something in between. So if you click on the timeline resolution, this is where you choose that. So we want to uh, choose the 1920 by 1080p, if that's what you want, an HD one or 3840 by 2160 if you want ultra hd now i'm pretty sure most people are not shooting 8k and this video is kind of targeted towards youtube community and stuff so i'm going to probably just choose ultra hd for this uh, little tutorial here and go ahead and click on that now wonderful and once you get that right below it you get the pixel aspect ratio just pay no attention to that it's square it's fine and we want to go down it says timeline frame rate now, for this particular one, I want to choose 60. Now, 59.94 is TV, and, as well as 29.97. Those are the you know, standard video formats, but I'm gonna assume that most everybody's just been putting this on YouTube, and we're gonna choose 60. Okay, now you do want the playback frame rate at 60 if your computer can handle it. And I highly recommend you keep it at 60 because that's what we're gonna be editing at, as it makes things just so much more simple. Now below that, you have an option that says video monitoring, and this is what's going to be uh, displayed on the screen. And this is one you want to actually lower, so it helps performance and everything. Now, I actually have to keep mine at say, you know, 720p, uh, and this particular one, I'm gonna say 720p 60. And that's a uh, much smaller, but that's gonna really help your computer, you know, be able to, uh, you know, play back the video and stuff without any kind of hesitation or anything. All right. Video uh, bit death by default is 10 bit. Most of you are not running 10 bit panels out there. So I highly recommend you choose 8 bit because that's what most of your displays are running. If you're running a 10 bit display, then you know you're the uh, person that is running a 10 bit display. For most everybody else, just uh, bought the random computer from uh, Walmart, HP, or Dell, whatever. There's a highly, highly good chance, unless you paid a lot of money for your display, that it's 8 bit. So leave it on 8 bit. Now we have optimized media and render cache. Oh, I actually want to scroll down. Which is proxy generated locations. Uh, this is where I actually have mine located because I have these sent to an SSD, which I highly recommend you do. However, if you don't understand where you get your running to or just have one drive, forget about these and move on. Now, back down here at the very, very bottom, you have frame interpolation. 
Now we have the read time process, we have optical flow, and we have a few options. We have nearest, frame blend, and optical flow. That's your three options. Now I'm gonna choose frame blend because I think it kind of gives you a little bit smoother uh, when you're actually slowing down video footage and stuff. Okay. Motion estimation control. You have a few, I uh, have four options here. You have standard faster, standard better, enhanced faster, enhanced better. I actually have to choose enhanced better. Now it's gonna take a little bit more processing power, so you may have a little bit of stuttering, but the final result is gonna be better. Motion range, medium. Now that's just perfectly fine. Let's leave it on medium. Now, you want to click save, and it's gonna save these settings, all right? So let's click on the gear icon again and pull that back up. Now we, at the master settings, you see all your settings got saved. Let's click back on presets, and we want to click save as. And for this, I'm going to say 4K tutorial. Then we hit OK. Now, if you want that same video uh, setup to come up every time, same timeline settings, that's the ones you're going to use for default. You can then right click on it and go save as user default config. That way, every time you start a uh, resolve, this is the settings that it will pull up. So I'm going to click that and we're done. You don't have to click anything else up cancel at the bottom. And we have our timeline set up. Okay, now that we have the video settings set for the timeline, let's go ahead and click File and go down to New Timeline. Now it's important that we set those settings before we create the timeline because when you create the timeline, it's gonna use the existing uh, settings that you had set up. So if you had everything at 1080p before and you won't create a 4K timeline, then you're gonna to have to go in, delete the current timeline or switch timelines. So it's better for overall just to kind of not have any timeline added, just to keep things more simple. So now that we have those settings done, let's click on new timeline. Okay. Now we have a few settings here, St uh, start time code. I have mine set to always start all zeros at the very beginning. By default, yours may start with uh, one frame at the very front. It's totally up to you how you want this set up. All right, timeline name, uh, timeline one is the default. And if you add another timeline, it'd be timeline two and so on. You can name these individually if you want to. I don't really uh, change the name of these unless I have a specific reason to, because normally I don't have one timeline in my files. Your use case may vary. Okay, but below this, we have number of video tracks. But default is like six, number of audio tracks, but default is like six. You may not need that many. So I am actually gonna run this down to two. And the number of audio tracks, I am gonna run those down to, let's say three. And let those be at three, okay? Audio track types, stereo. And of course you want an empty timeline. And we go. Now, if you do have any Fairlight presets that you wanna use, you can click the little uh, use Fairlight presets and choose you know the full console preset for your video. I am not going to choose that for this project, but it's something I will be exploring in the uh, Fairlight's tutorial audio tutorial coming up in our uh, next videos. Okay, let's go ahead and create. Create. Okay, now to get that done, let's go down here and click media so we can start adding our media to our project. Let's click on media and. Depending on where you get your video footage stuff, I have mine on I said SSDs for faster speed. And I already have the folder up here fo uh, found. I'm on the folder I'm using Resolve how to edit tutorials, just some extra video footage that I got for editing purposes. And I have these two files right here. Now, let's say I want both these files in my uh, video of uh, my project. So you can either drag those down individually one by one, or you can select them both and drag them both. So since I already dragged one down, I'm gonna drag the other down. And there we go, okay. Now to get that done, let's go over here to edit again. Now, if you go up here where it says media pool, you now can see your two uh, video files right next to your timeline file. Now, it doesn't matter if you uh, got, you know, video uh, footage of your home, family video footage, kids playing, it doesn't matter. This is this, uh, videos I have, you know, for gameplay because this tutorial is kind of aimed towards YouTubers anyway. So anyway, I'm going to pull one of these down and do the timeline here 
and boom, now we have our video file added to the timeline. So when I go back and I play it, you can see it's playing across the screen and everything here. And of course, you can also grab it if you want to you know, size it up. And there we go. Okay. Like I said, this is the first video. If you want to see more about uh, videos, me showing you how to edit and everything, my editing tutorial on the how to edit your video on the timeline will be coming up in our next video. So if you like this video, have a give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you can see the next video and the next part of this uh, video series I got coming out. So anyway, that's it for this tutorial, everyone. Hope you found it helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up so is highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. Let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.